What's up you plebs, it's Ultra Master and welcome to another top 5 video. Today we're talking about top 5 factions you should try out first in the upcoming Total War Rome Remastered. Now this game is dropping out I think in 12 days, so I'm really excited. And th these are my picks of course, you guys can drop down a comment um, if you disagree, if you agree, whatever the case will be. And yeah, if you guys will enjoy this video, Please consider subscribing, liking, because I'm getting kind of close to 1,000 subscribers, and yeah, it does help the algorithm and everything. So yeah, hope you guys will enjoy, uh, and yeah, let's get into this top of our video. Um, starting off, number five. Coming in at number five is the Brutii. They are of course a Roman faction, uh, and looking from it from like a pure uh, gameplay perspective they are probably the best Roman faction in terms of how easy it is like they have the best access to the lands because the Greek lands are extremely wealthy and they have the best <coughs> access to the wonders from the Romans faction for example you can go over here you have the, um, the Zeus one and I think down here it's uh, Alexandria pyramids I think Heraklion oh, sorry Rhodes has this Colossus of Rhodes they basically have the best wonders at their disposal. They're really fun, they don't have a difficult start because going for Salona Polonia is really easy and then you can just go into the Greek lands and get filthy rich and get all these buffs from the uh, wonders and I think they're really cool. Of course Roman factions are extremely cool. So yeah, I think Brutii are the number five. In number four we have the Greeks. Now uh, for me the best thing about the Greeks are their Spartan hoplites or spartans they're just so freaking cool and they're so strong um they are really 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 filthy rich uh after they get the rest of the greece from the macedonians and again they have a good access to all of the wonders i think they even start with uh no they don't start they have to get this one um from corinth but it's very good it, I, what i like about them is that they're like kind of spread out so you know they have stuff in greece but then they also have stuff in turkey and on the roads and yeah, I think that that's really fun. Uh, again, not too difficult of a start. You can get these rebel settlements, you can get some Seleucid settlements, you can get uh, the rest of Greece. And after you get the rest of Greece, you're again, same as Rutia, you're filthy rich, you're just steamrolling everything. So I think they're a really fun faction, they have some very cool units. Um, they're of course very hoplite based, um, which is, you know, a bit of a different experience from the Romans, but still, I think they're really fun and my pick for number four. Number three, it's Carthage. Now, I hope you don't like Romans, and if you don't like Romans, Carthage is the one for you, of course. The big nemesis of the Roman factions. Um, I think they are, again, a very cool faction. I like that they have a pretty diverse roster. Of course, they also have the elephants later on, which is, you know, really, really freaking cool. Uh, it's really interesting that they have, again, a really spread out um, <clears throat> territory. Of course, they are in Sicily, they're in Carthage, in uh, what's this? Cagliari, I think, basically. Uh, what is this? This is... Um, is this Corsica or is this Corsica? No, this is Sardinia. This Sardinia, right? I think this is Sardinia. I'm bad. I'm bad. I think this is Sardinia. And this is Corsica, right? This is Sicily. I think. Anyways, this island over here. Uh, they have Palma and they also have... They have um, in the south of Spain, in Cordoba, they have more, uh, more another settlement. Uh, so you know, it's a very cool faction because they're so spread out. Um, it's a unique faction. Basically, if you don't like Romans, this is the <laughs> this is the faction for you. So I think they have a good roster, very good settlements. Um, and yeah, they're something special just because um, they're like the nemesis of Rome. So yeah, if you want to be kind of the bad guy, although you know hard to say who's the bad guy in this case, but it kind of feels, Carthage feels like the bad guy, then Carthage is for you as number three. Probably many were feeling that this is going to be number one, but it's number two, it's the Julii. Now the Julii are the Romans that feel like the proper Romans. It's probably because of the color, it's probably because of the name Julii, it's probably the most synonymous um, with the Romans, although of course Scipia and Brutii. Definitely um, big names, but the Julia, you know, are like is the name of Romans, if at least if you ask me. And red is the color of Rome as well. So, you know, Julia just feel the most Roman. 
which, um, yeah, they're like a really cool faction. Uh, of course, you know, same as Rutia, they have great units. Now, if I actually look from gameplay perspective, they do have a bit of a worse time. Um, they're, they don't get the, those many rich settlements, you know, like a lot of things up here in mainland Europe is kind of poor. Um, but still, uh, they feel the most Roman. You can kill Gauls, which kind of feels really Roman-like. And yeah, they're just a cool faction. Um, as I said, the one thing that does bring them away from the number one spot, though, is that it's going to be extremely mainstream to play as them. Everyone's going to be playing as Julii, like, <clears throat> as their first playthrough. Uh, which kind of, you know, brings, at least for me, it brings them from the number one spot. Because they're just going to be so straightforward, like, everyone's going to be playing as them. So, yeah, that does kind of bring them down a notch, but still, you can't go wrong with Julia, to be honest. They're a really cool faction, they're filled like the true Romans, so they're my number two. And for me, number one is Seleucia, or Seleucid Empire. They are a challenge. They always have been a challenge, because everyone will try to kill you. But you know what? That's how you get better at the game, that's how you play the game, it's, that's how you should enjoy the game. Um, I will actually be covering this faction. This is the faction I'm going to be doing a playthrough on for YouTube. And... Um, they're basically... Probably one of the hardest factions. They have an extremely diverse roster. <clears throat> they, of course, start with pikemen and stuff, but later on, um, we'll check their units. Uh, where, where, I can, where can I do that? Let's check a better, like, over here. Oh, over here, right. Uh, so if you go to barracks, you have legionaries as well. You have pikemen, as we said, but legionaries, they're also cool. Like, for example, Greece and Macedon, they have um, pikemen, but they don't have legionaries. So what I like about Seleucia is that they also have the access to this. If you look at stables, we have a great, um, <clears throat> great, great uh, diversity. We have some, you know, sk uh, skirmisher cav, then we have some light cav. Cataphracts are freaking awesome. And then, of course, we have companion cavalry as well. Um, looking at the ranges. They have Peltas on uh, archers and onagers, so nothing too special over there, to be honest. Um, they do also, though, get access to elephants. I'm not exactly sure from what building, though, I must say. But I'm pretty sure that they do get it. Um, I'll have to check where, exa where exactly they get it, though. They get chariots as well. That's pretty awesome. I'm just checking where did they get the, the elephants from. I'm not exactly sure, to be honest, but... Uh, this chariot's over here. Yeah, I must have not exactly sure, but... Um, they are a very spread out faction. They're gonna get attacked by everyone. It's gonna be hard, but you'll have the capabilities with the roster to do that. Uh, I think they're a really cool faction. I like kind of the color, you know, the, the silver, grayish. Um, and yeah. If this is my number one pick, I'll be doing uh, a playthrough with them when Rome Remaster drops out. So that's in about... Today is 17th of April, so it's like 12 days, right? I think it's on the 29th. So less than two weeks away, which is pretty darn cool. So yeah, these are my top five picks for the factions that you should try in Rome Total War Remastered. Or Total War Rome Remastered, I think that's how it's officially called. I uh, hope you guys liked my suggestions. If you have, make sure to join like comment down below you can also of course comment which faction I missed I mean I didn't really f um, pick any barbarian factions which could be like a mistake maybe for someone uh, I didn't pick Macedon because I kind of feel that they're Greeks but slightly less cool um, <clears throat> I'm not particularly a fan of Gauls Britons or Germans uh, or Dacian or Trace or um, Scythia or Parthia um, well the good thing about Parthia is they're um, they're weird pajama warriors. Uh, neither like over here, uh, going for Pontus or Armenia. Not just not that. I, I like my civil, civilized lands, you know. So, yeah, these are my picks. Uh, of course, I could be wrong. You guys could maybe come with better suggestions. If you do have better suggestions, make sure to drop them down in the comment. And yeah, till next time, as always.